This is the highway to 10K, a challenge where I try to make $10,000 online as fast as possible. We're gonna be going for these golf covers. These things look like oven mitts. I have no idea what it is. However, I do know that this brand can be extremely profitable. This is my first time trying to buy something from this store. If I do cop, we should at least double my money for every single checkout, according to the current market price anyway. So should be a no brainer to go for these. Let's do it. Damn, I kind of went crazy. Got three of them in so far. This is a lot bigger than I expected. Boss. Time to do some listing. The Mason Margiela Varsity Jacket has also arrived. Comes with a poster that I'm not unraveling, and I'd love to show this jacket off, but I'm not taking it out of the original packaging either. I feel like this might take a while for me to sell at the price that I'm actually happy with. I'm trying to let it go for at least $900 in payout. Doesn't mean it's impossible, but might hold on to this for a while. Before I forget, this is a new month. So as per usual, I do have to subtract the expenses. If you notice, it is a little bit more expensive. That's because our two free months of Nike shoe bot that all Polar Chef members have access to has now been expired. But the bot has made me much more money than the renewal fee. So as of right now, anyway, it would make sense to just keep renewing it. So I have some good news and bad news. The good news is that I sold all of my Jordan 4 gold metallics. Thankfully, I was able to find a buyer for these, but the bad news is that I'm not really making any money. Maybe a few dollars at most, but the way I see it, it's way less of a hassle to return each one individually to Nike, and it might even take longer for me to get my money back that way. And secondly, I still do profit even though it's like negligible. If I had bought all of these pairs using a cashback credit card, then I would have benefited a lot more. However, what I did buy using cashback credit cards are probably around 40 to 50 percent of all the Yeezys that I purchased over the past month and a few other things here and there so I will be adding that to my profit as well and I had also sold a big chunk of onyx slides to the same buyer for a pretty good price $97 each which is just a few dollars less than how much I would make on eBay if I had sold them individually but I did make individual sales for the slides as well very very nice and two denim tears hoodies One of the Hellstar pieces also arrived today. This hoodie is fire, but it feels kind of cheap if I'm being honest. Though it is beautiful and it is a Hellstar. I guess that's really the only thing that matters, I suppose, because obviously this hoodie would sell for more than the retail price of $250. Wouldn't have bought it otherwise. The next day, the Air Max Silver Bullets arrived from Air Max Day. Not too much happening as far as drops during this week, but that's good. Giving a chance for my wallet to recover after all this buying I've been doing. On the 7th and the 8th, made hella sales again. For some reason, interest in Denim Tears hoodies looks like it started to pick up. Not sure why, but I've been getting more messages and more offers on Grailed for these Denim Tears. And the Hellstar hoodie also sold very fast for a good price too. Speaking of denim tears, a few weeks ago they released the mono cotton wreath collection. Beautiful black on black design limited only to customers who went in person to the physical store in New York City. But it seemed like they opened up sales to the public via phone orders. They post this on their Instagram page and if you want to grab anything from the mono collection, you gotta call them. Let's see how this works. Cheers, talking to Lil. You, um, was wondering how I could order some of the monochrome hoodies? That's how you order, my man. Oh, perfect. Let me know what size you want, and, uh, once you're, you're ready to complete your order, I'll take your card information and process your order for it to be shipped to you. Can I get, like, two or three hoodies? Is that possible? Yeah, sure, man. Can I get two XLs, uh, one, okay. one medium and one large? Just hoodies. Yeah, just hoodies. So your total's gonna be 930.90. I mean, ready for those numbers whenever you are. Four, two. Your payments are processed. I just sent an email with your receipt. Appreciate you shopping with us again. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right. Have a good one, man. Clean. So clean. I almost want to keep this for myself. I don't know why I'm looking at the tag so intensely like this, but anyways. Soon, we're gonna have Nike SBs dropping. It's been a while since I've hit anything on Nike, so this is a little bit of a toss-up. Not sure if I'm gonna cop anything. Oh shit, it's a scratcher, bro. It's a scratcher. No, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, order pending. Order pending. Oh yeah. Let's go, got a size 11. Not gonna lie, it looks better in the pictures, but the tearaway design is pretty cool, but out of the box, it's alright. Today I only sold two Yeezys. eBay sales been slowing down a bit because I decided to increase my prices on eBay to above current market price. So although it is a bit slow right now, my margins per pair should be a bit higher. Later that day, I also decided to consign the last few remaining Honeydew Dunks on Alias. Been sitting on eBay for quite a while now and it's time to give it a chance on a different platform. Today, we have a huge drop. The Jordan 4 Military Blues. A lot of people have been waiting for this shoe for so long and they're going to be doing a shock drop. Not exactly a shock drop. Everyone knows about these already in two minutes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is gibberish, bro. What am I looking at? Okay, time to enter my phone. Oh, I got something. What is this? It's a grade school pair. And another grade school pair. I need men's pairs, though. Another GS. They did something to my proxies and maybe even my accounts. I think less than 60% of my accounts actually entered, so I should have gotten way more than this. And I was hoping for at least one's men pair, but shit happens. When pairs started to arrive, a lot of people were complaining that the blue is too dark. And this shade doesn't resemble the 2012 pair at all. The 2012 pair was one of the few shoes that caught my eye before I got deep into sneakers. So that's kind of what I was expecting. A chance to finally cop a pair of shoes that I couldn't in the past. And to my disappointment, it's not even close to being the same color. But as I was browsing Twitter, I saw other posts that educated me on the topic and that the 2012 version was actually the anomaly out of the four times that these were released and the 2024 version is actually closer to the original pair that released in this colorway although i am a reseller i do appreciate sneaker history and as a result i'm appreciating this pair a little bit more and i'm kind of glad that nike went this route Today, Hitting New York is going to be dropping their ASICS collaboration. Not the most important release, we'll make a little bit of money, but I do expect it to be very difficult to buy. Oh my god, I got processing on two. Oh god bless, bro. I caught something on Shopify for once in my life. <laughs> God bless. Got one. It's got size 7 too. Size 7 sounds like a good size for resale. Let's have a look. What the hell? It's not even on here. 6? Where's the 7? There's just no 7 listings? Size 7. As I. And another 2 sales for the Yeezy Salts today.
today, a bunch of Kobe's are going to be dropping. The main thing I got to look out for is starting my Shopify tasks on time. I always seem to screw that up. However, yesterday, I seem to have done it correctly. So the goal is to do it again today. 